Hey, thanks, Jay. Chief Meteorologist Catherine Thompson here. Let's talk about the weather a little bit in our area today. It's been an interesting day. We had all that heavy rain overnight last night and yesterday, and we definitely had some flooding reports, especially up in Raleigh County earlier today. Luckily, though, all warnings and advisories have now been expired or uh, they were canceled because we are experiencing now, luckily, those receding water levels. So the water levels will continue to go down overnight tonight. So we don't have any more warnings or advisories out. That doesn't mean there's not some spots of high water still out there and debris flow. So please be careful navigating your way home. If you're coming home from work, uh, please be careful because you could definitely see uh, some still some spots to worry about. But we are clearing out. Our satellite and radar is pretty quiet. Lots of blue sky now in our Southwest Virginia Community College camera. And other than those high water areas, we've seen a pretty nice day despite the kind of muddy conditions. It's been warmer. Temperatures today again in the 50s and low 60s. But don't get used to it. We are going to be decently dry overnight tonight, just maybe a few spotty showers redeveloping. This is our next system coming in. It's actually a couple areas of low pressure that are going to be approaching us from the southwest. They brush us Wednesday night into Thursday, and look at the blue showing up. We might get a little rain Wednesday evening, but the majority of our next system coming in here is going to be snow, and that's going to be Wednesday night into Thursday. So, So let's take a close look. Again, tonight, not a whole lot happening. I do think with a weak front still coming through the area, there's a possibility we'll see a few more showers redevelop tonight. A lot of clouds move back in. A few snowflakes out there, too, but nothing as widespread or heavy as what we experienced yesterday or last night. Far from that. Tomorrow looks mainly dry, just a lot of clouds around. We will be cooler. Highs tomorrow in the 40s. And then watch what happens tomorrow night. Here's what I'm talking about, guys. Maybe a stray shower or two when it first starts, but temperatures drop pretty quickly once the sun goes down. We're in the 20s eventually tomorrow night, and widespread snow looks to develop across the entire area. It will go into early Thursday morning, but notice it breaks up. It becomes more scattered. By Thursday afternoon, we're not going to be seeing as much, but we will be cold. Look at the highs. Only in the teens and 20s, so what falls will stick pretty well, and it's going to stay there for a bit. And with the wind chill, too, it's going to feel colder. Now, how much are we expecting? This is not a major blizzard, but for right now, most models are in agreement, and I'm broad brushing it still at this moment, that most of our area, the general portions of our area, are going to see one to three inches with the highest spots at the highest elevations, the lowest accumulations at the lower elevations, generally broad brushing it. I still might tweak the lines a little bit east of I-77, back off on some of those numbers, depending on what I see uh, this evening. But Generally, a few inches is expected across much of the area, and that's definitely going to cause some slick travel. Wednesday night, dangerous travel and into Thursday morning, though it's not a major storm. We get another chance at a wintry mix early next week. Melinda, I'll send things over to you. All right. Thank you.